Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm going to do another What's in the Mail. I've actually um, started reading a lot more about dinosaur training. Uh, before going on, just want to advertise Thrift Books. I mean, Thrift Books, by the way, for a lot of people that ask where I get my books, Thrift Books is one of the places I actually get them because they're very, very cheap. They're mostly selling, of course, used books. And um, even for international sales like myself from the US, postage is very, very, um, very, very cheap. So I highly recommend Thrift Books for any golden era literature you might want to read. Any old used books from the golden era. Great, great book, uh, book site. Anyway, what did I get? Um, as I said, I've been reading a lot about dinosaur training recently, which is basically a form of abbreviated training. Um, I'm a big fan of it, I know some of you are not, but um, again, that's my own personal opinion about it. I love dinosaur training, sticking to the basics. Beyond Brawn. Beyond um, Brawn was one of the first books I ever read, so I decided to go back to the original book that, um, I guess, inspired Beyond Brawn by Stuart McRobert, and that is Brawn. I only picked up this book for about four or five bucks on the website. I promised Stuart, who I've been in uh, communication with recently, a, a really nice, generous guy, um, that I would review it for him. So I really can't wait to read this book. I've I've heard so much about it from years ago when I first saw this book, and I was having my own issues trying to bulk up and everything, and I couldn't get any results, as I've said before. And when I started um, bodybuilding back when I was around 18, 19, I made a big mistake in, in uh, going straight into Big Beyond Belief by Tom Platts. And I actually tore my trapezius and I couldn't move my arm for about nine months. And after some severe therapy, um, I was able to spend a lot, and a lot of swimming, I was able to actually recover. And then it, around in my, um, I guess, very early 20s from that photo you just recently saw of me in my ribcage development video, um, I was doing a lot of martial arts. But I decided to bulk up for a small part of that time. And I came across uh, Braun and Stuart McRoberts' teachings. And I, st and I actually bought Beyond Braun and many of his uh, other content. And uh, since then, I guess I've made steady gains. Now, as you can see from the contents from... Well, actually, this book was published initially in 1992. I'm assuming this is a 1993 fifth edition or fifth reprinting. Um, the contents, uh, the need of a different approach, it really talks about. I mean, I haven't read the book, but I, I know Stuart's teachings. Uh, the different approach is basically talking about how, I guess, uh, misled a lot of people are in regards to correct form of, tra of training. All of these forms of training are for drug assisted. Uh, bodybuilders that you see in the magazines. Um, it also talks about, so, so the need for a different approach obviously talks, uh, mentions uh, the high volume of training which is drug dependent and therefore a need for a new approach would be to use abbreviated training. I'm assuming that's what this chapter is going to be about. Genetic variation, obviously if you're not a genetic freak you will find it very difficult to gain especially depending on your metabolic status ecto, endo, or mesomorph, etc, etc, expectations. I already had a quick flick through this um, just earlier, and um, I really like these expectations chapters, because uh, from what I understand, I haven't read the book, but as I said, I quickly went through it, um, it actually gives you uh, some tables and some calculations that help you... Um, I guess have a realistic expectation of as to what you can actually, uh, ha what what your growth could be like in in terms of muscular development. So it gives you kind of some calculations uh, of depending on certain girths, what your your chest should be. Uh, this person who used the book obviously has underlined it earlier. He must have been five nine, just like me, uh, and it gives you expectations regarding your wrist, regarding diff different different formulas are used, etc, etc. Um, it's a great, it's a great chapter. Um, progression, performance, persistence is the next one, variations on a theme. 
uh, no single universal approach that's very true there is no universal approach to bodybuilding or weightlifting um, intensity and variation etc okay, there, there are lots of uh, uh, great chapters here I think that the routines and the squat is what most people would would want to read about again the squat the growth exercise the squat is, is king so is deadlift the bench these are just absolute basics and that's what I like about this book at the end it goes through also specialization and it says it in the summary and it's a great belief I have unless you're benching 300 squatting 400 and deadlifting 500 I really don't think you should be spending that much time on isolation um, you should, you should exercises and, and, and sculpting yet I mean you're gonna look like a string bean if you're gonna be then doing concentration curls and dumbbell kickbacks for your triceps because you're not gonna have any muscle there to, to really sculpt out um, that's my own personal belief as well I think you should have some serious pounding on your squat bench and deadlift and I've been asked a lot of for a lot of people are you a, a full body training person or do you use do you prefer instead of compound a lot of isolation exercise well to be honest it really depends on your progression unless you are an advanced pupil of bodybuilding then why the hell would you sculpt a 12 inch bicep I mean are you kidding me that's ridiculous so I think if you if you've developed at least 15 to 16 inches on your arm you can start thinking about isolation otherwise keep getting your poundages up on the big compound movements and you'll just keep growing and growing I mean your arms will naturally grow anyway from from benching 300 don't you think I think so and that's what Braun is uh, I believe is about I can't wait to read the book any of Stuart McRoberts uh, books I really enjoy and any type of dinosaur training book I enjoy such as Stuart McRoberts books speaking of Stuart McRobert he actually sent me um, some booklets as I said I've been in conversation with him and I'm very fortunate to have been sent these original um, best arm booklet publications again very old school um, re very rare to find he actually sent me two I don't know why but he sent me like he's just a generous guy I guess and I have to again say thank you Stuart McRobert for sending me these uh, mint condition big arms uh, booklets of yours can't wait to read them and uh, I mean they're just a few pages they're about 20 pages almost but yeah um, really looking forward to reading these again a big thank you to Stuart McRobert you should check out his website hardgainer.com um, it's got a lot of um, great books as I've mentioned Beyond Brawn of course the original Brawn and um, uh, the insiders tell all technique I think a uh, tell all book on on weight training technique which I own, I highly recommend for people that don't have a personal trainer can't afford a personal trainer it tells you exactly how to uh, how to perform the bench press the deadlift and the squat it, it got it's got basically an enormous chapter on each of these on each of these uh, exercises and really goes through proper training exercise technique anyway great website Stuart McRoberts I also recommend reading Hard Gainer he's actually going to send me some some Hard Gainer issues and I plan to actually get all of them um, again there's not many magazines that are out there these days and Hard Gainer already stopped um, in its circulation of magazines however the magazines still exist and you can actually purchase them on his website as well there's uh, just under a hundred issues I'm gonna get them all um, anyway that's enough from me in this what's in the mail I hope you've enjoyed it it's mainly Stuart McRoberts products um, one a second-hand book Braun and two completely new booklets from Stuart, Stuart himself great guy very generous guy um, hope you've enjoyed the video please subscribe if you haven't leave me a comment and thank you for watching this is the cold golden era book went by for now